and welcome to the session. In this session we will discuss a question which says that find the equation of the common chord of the two circles x square plus y square minus 4x minus 10y minus 7 is equal to 0 and 2x square plus 2y square minus 5x plus 3y plus 2 is equal to 0. Show that this chord is perpendicular to the line joining the centers of the two circles. Now before starting the solution of this question, we should know a result. Let S1 is equal to 0 and S2 is equal to 0 where S1 is x square plus y square plus 2g1x plus 2f1y plus c1 and S2 is x square plus y square plus 2g2x plus 2f2y plus c2 be the equations of two circles and k a constant then s1 plus k into s2 is equal to 0 where k is not equal to minus 1 represents a family of circles passing through the points of intersection of the given circles. And if k is equal to minus 1, then we get s1 minus s2 is equal to 0. That is, putting k is equal to minus 1 here. And this is the equation of the straight line which passes through the intersection of the given circles if they have any. Now this result will work out as a key idea for solving out this question. And now we will start with the solution. Here the equations of the circles are given to us. The equations of the two given circles are as well as x square plus y square minus 4x minus 10y minus 7 is equal to 0. And s2 is 2x square plus 2y square minus 5x plus 3y plus 2 is equal to 0. Or you can write s2 as x square plus y square minus 5 by 2x plus 3 by 2y plus 1 is equal to 0. Now we have to find the equation of the common chord of the two circles. Now using this result which is given in the key idea, the equation of the common chord
of the two circles is given by S1 minus S2 is equal to 0. Now this is S1 and this is S2. Now putting the value of S1 and S2 here, this implies x square plus y square minus 4x minus 10y minus 7 minus of x square plus y square minus 5 by 2x plus 3 by 2y plus 1 the whole is equal to 0. Further, this implies x square plus y square minus 4x minus 10y minus 7 minus x square minus y square plus 5 by 2x minus 3 by 2y minus 1 is equal to 0. Now these terms will be cancelled with each other. So this implies minus 4x plus 5 by 2x minus 10y minus 3 by 2y minus 7 minus 1 is equal to 0. On solving, this implies minus 3 by 2x minus 23 by 2y minus 8 is equal to 0. Which further implies minus 3x minus 23y minus 16 is equal to 0 which gives 3x plus 23y plus 16 is equal to 0. So this is the equation of the common chord. Now we have to show that this chord is perpendicular to the line joining the centers of the two circles. Now this is the circle S1 and this is the circle S2. Now for the circle S1, the center C1 is minus G1 minus F1. As this is the general equation of the circle whose coordinates of center are given by minus G and minus F. Now for the circle S1, so the center C1 is minus of minus 4 by 2 and minus of minus 10 by 2. Therefore, coordinates of the center C1 are 2 and 5. Similarly, for the circle S2, center C2 is minus G2 and minus F2. Now this is the circle S2. Therefore, the coordinates of the center C2 will be given by 5 by 4 and minus 3 by 4. Now let these points be x1, y1 and these points be x2, y2. Now, slope of the line joining the points C1 and C2 that is, slope of the line C1, C2 is equal to y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. This will be equal to minus 3 by 4 minus 5 whole upon 5 by 4 minus 2. On solving, this is equal to minus 23 by 4 whole upon minus 3 by 4 which is further equal to 
Therefore, slope of C1, C2 is equal to 23 by 3. Now let slope of C1, C2 is M1 which is equal to 23 by 3. Now this is the equation of the common chord. Now let M2 be the slope of the common chord. Therefore, M2 is equal to minus coefficient of x over coefficient of y. So M2 is equal to minus 3 by 23. Now, M1 into M2 will be equal to 23 by 3 into minus 3 by 23. This implies M1 into M2 is equal to minus 1. Now if the product of the slopes of any two lines is minus 1, then these lines are perpendicular to each other. Therefore, the chord, that is the common chord, is perpendicular to the line joining the centers C1 and C2. So this is the solution of the given question and that's all for the session. Hope you all have enjoyed the session.